Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, this is my mom Jen. Hi guys! And uh, we're doing a movie reaction today, this is Field of Dreams. Yeah, it's so, Kevin Costner in his, in his youth. In his, in his glory days, yeah. 1989, right? So oh, wow. Yeah, I only know kind of the general premise of this movie. Yeah. The guy tries to build a baseball field, I mean, like a cornfield, I think. Um, I know the phrase, build it and they will come. Yeah. Um, and we know Ray Liotta's in it because he Ray just Liotta, died. He just so died and a lot of people got reacted to this. And, bit. and yeah. I remember this at the time and like, I think you had said earlier, I think I saw a piece of it or something, but I don't yeah. remember the movie. Yeah, and all, I've, so. I've never seen it at all. I just know, yeah. like I said, just the pop culture osmosis, I know kind of the general premise. I think, yeah, we're both yeah. going into this pretty blind. Uh, it, to be honest, we're still kind of in recovery after watching Clerks. Oh, that was just... <laughs> it, check that one out if on our... It's, uh, yeah, the full length is down on our Patreon. I'll yeah. put a link. But um, it, it's one of the few comedy movies I've seen in my life where I waited the entire movie for it to be funny. Yeah, Clerks. And, and I, yeah, I kept, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just. Oh, well, this one will be. It was a pretty, pretty yeah. harrowing experience yeah. overall. Like, <laughs> nope, you know, not meaning to dunk on any fans of Clerks and that. It just wasn't really to our taste. Yeah. But uh, no, sure. this this one should be really good. I, re I love Kevin Costner. I love Ray Liotta. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's kind of filled with other sort of notable actors of the of the era. Yes, yeah, the 80s. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems to be kind of pretty, pretty popular, so I'm looking forward to, to watching it. Okay. And with all that being said, guys, let's check it out. Oh, James Earl Jones. Oh, the Lord Darth Vader himself. <laughs> Everything you best feel. Yeah, I'm sure half of these guys are, are, are the guys and like actresses are like... Uh, really? Oh, Shoeless Joe he plays. Ah. Uh, Burt Lancaster. Lancaster. I'm sure, but I'm sure half of these actors are ones that I'm like, oh, him, him, but yes. I just don't know their yeah, names. Yeah, character actors. Like, <gasps> James Horner. He did like Mighty Joe Young oh. and Avatar and a whole you bunch of others. You loved Mighty Joe Young. I've got you on tape, Mom. I watched Mighty <laughs> Joe again, Mom. <laughs> or my all-time child the favorites. <laughs> my name's Ray Kinsella. Mom died when I was three, and I oh. suppose Dad did the best he could. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth. Uh. Almost a full afternoon. They look like the people out of the painting yeah, with, like the, with the pitchfork. The pitchfork and yeah. the... A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Hmm. So the Baggins is never did anything unexpected. Or <laughs> yeah. What's well, so funny that he's living here? Because in Man of Steel, he plays Superman's adoptive dad, oh, Jonathan yeah. Kent, and they yeah. live in a farm. Uh. Freak out, eh? I would, yeah. You're out alone in a field. Yes. Is he about to be taken into the upside down? <laughs> he will come. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, you must have heard that. Sorry. Oh god, he can't even get to sleep. Look, could you pitch me in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> And here was this big six-foot rabbit leaning up against Harvey. Uh, I saw that as a play. Yeah. That was that was really cool. Look, she's got a Smurf glass. Ah. Well, that little girl. I've seen her. Yeah. As older as an older actress. Who's hearing voices? Oh, oh no! <laughs> not in the oh, no! No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hypothetically, you know. He is a fine-looking man, Kevin He Koster. is, yeah. Even, like... And he's aged very well, I must say. Yeah. Yes, we know that already. Tell us more. Yeah. Oh, it's like uh, prophets in the Bible. All of a sudden, they were, like, you know, struck by a vision. Or, yeah. You know, the voice of God. Huh? Uh... A non-threatening Ray Liotta. <laughs> <laughs> you don't suppose this is, like, an acid flashback or anything, do you? <laughs> Former flower children there. <laughs> Look, they're having corn with their supper. Yeah. What's your father got to do with all of this? Man never did one spontaneous thing in all the years I knew him. And I'm afraid of that happening to me. Yeah. If you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. I'm glad it's not one of those. It's like you know, he has visions or starts saying this stuff and she thinks yes, he's crazy yes. and it's like family yeah. drama and then she leaves or you know stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, do you remember what movie she was in? Ah. Uncle Buck. 
She Shanice. She's Shanice. She was Shanice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I've seen her in other stuff too, I'm sure, but yeah. <laughs> I mean if he's Whoa. supposed to be throwing, how do you explain the fact that he hit three seventy five for the series <laughs> and didn't commit one air? Huh? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Well, and doing this is a very sort of spiritual, big th way of like reconnecting with his dad. You know, yeah. I love baseball. And, yeah. Baseball yeah. film, right? Wow, they made it a lot faster than I was expecting. It's cool with the it? corn all around. It. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks though if you like, you know, hit the ball. You have to go out into the corn <laughs> to find it. Yeah, right. True. Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. Damn. And like. From what I understand, like a, like a farm, like mortgage, but like just working the farm and all this, oh, yeah. like it's just a major, you know. Yes. I had no idea the movie would have this sort of like magical there? spiritual. Oh, really? I just yeah. thought it was about yeah. a guy making a baseball field. Yeah. Aw, like oh, R.I.P. That sexy puck marked face. Yeah, he's a good actor, really great actor. Yeah, at some point we'll have to watch like Goodfellas and. Yeah. Oh, he's a good throwing ball. Ah, okay. Wow, he's wearing the old socks I was, for me. I was gonna say, yeah. and his mint is like very. Huh? <laughs> so I don't think he's getting rid of the field. <laughs> no. He's had a, a visitation, you know. Yeah, he's not right, going back. Yeah. I am pitching to Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> Cross the plate, man. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can hit the curveball. <laughs> it was a game. The sounds, the smells. That was his dream, his passion. Mm -hmm. There are others, you know. Oh. There were eight of us. Oh, okay. You're gonna lose your farm, pal. Come on, oh, it's Timothy uh, Buster. How can you lose? Something? Oh so yes, big. yes. Place the house for us. Oh! Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> Eight of them. See when a pitcher gets a sign and starts a pitch, good left fielder knows what pitch is coming. He can tell from the angle of bat. Yeah, they do the old, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sort of a. <laughs> Tony, that was 60 ah! years ago. Oh! Give it up, boy. It's you? the Mullinator. Hey. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> you guys want to play ball or what? Well, well, do they uh, not see them? I was going to say, do you not understand the significance of what's happening? What do you think about what I said? There's literal manifestations behind you. Eight of what? Oh, uh, okay. See. I was waiting for this to come into play. But Annie can see though, right? Yeah. She saw Shoeless Joe. Yeah, like him and his him and his family can yeah. see, but no one else. Yeah. What a world! What a world! <laughs> meeting after dinner. Talking about Enjoy. banning books again. Really subversive books like The Wizard of Oz. This is Diary timely. And oh, Frank. Yes. Super timely. <sighs> Considering like a night and a bunch of other like books about the Holocaust are being banned, you know. I say smut and filth like right, this right, has right. no place in our schools. Oh, her. Yeah. Thank there is you. not Mrs. Janik. Fascist. Novels of Terence Mann endorse promiscuity, godlessness, the mongrelization of the races. Oh. You, you know why he stopped writing books? Because he, he masturbates. masturbates. Oh my god. Oh, he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. <gasps> oh. At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Sit down, Beulah. Okay. Nope. I've got a better idea. Let's put it Five to minutes. a vote, all right? Who's for Eva Braun here? <gasps> Who wants to burn books? Who wants to spit on the 
Constitution of the United States of America. Anybody? Ask that question these days, you get a lot more responses. <laughs> come on, come on, let's see those hands. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin. There you go. As soon as you mentioned the Russians. Good girl. <laughs> we gotta go. That was fantastic. Oh, I figured it out. That was just like the sixties again. I just figured it out. Fight the power. <laughs> Why, with the kind of like high she's running right now, she's ready to like bring him home and tear his clothes off. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, James Earl Jones. There we go. Ah, I was wondering I how he, he ties into, it. into this. Yeah. I thought maybe he was the voice or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, he's such a good Darth Vader voice. Yeah. Oh my God. What? As a small boy, he had a bat named Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> I like Annie. Yeah. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Whoa. Yes? About mm -hmm. halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score and eating I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. Huh? Wow. I'll help you pack. Okay, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Mann? I have to take you to a basement. <laughs> All right, stupid, put your hands up and get in the trunk. Who the hell are you? Hi. <laughs> Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Oh, no. Oh, well, you sound like a salesman doing it that way. I had a dream about you. <laughs> my wife did, too. <laughs> oh, my God. You're from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Oh no. The 60s. Wait a back. second. No oh no. For you here Just... in the future. Get back while you still can. No, wait. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> For Timmy has a gun. Oh Jesus. Just need you to come with. Is he like a bat or a gun of his own? <gasps> what are you what are you doing? I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar, and then you go away. <laughs> Whoa, oh, wait! Fuck. I have to yeah. take you to a baseball game. You what? <laughs> and I'll tell you on the way. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. Don't you miss being involved? <laughs> then they killed Martin, they killed Bobby, they elected Tricky Dick twice. And now people like you think I'm, I must be miserable because I'm not involved anymore. And I got news for you. I spent all my misery years ago. Yeah, you put in this time. Yeah. So what do you want? Mm -hmm. I want them to stop looking to me for answers, begging me to speak again, write again, be a leader. I want them to start thinking for themselves and want my privacy. Yeah. No, I meant, what do you want? Oh. <laughs> oh. Dog in a beer. <laughs> Two. Seven bucks. Wow. Now it's like 25 bucks. God damn. Want to travel back to 1989? <laughs> yeah. One game zero at bats. Oh. Some guy that never got <clears throat> to. Yeah, and never got his chance. Oh, never got to, yeah. Oh, okay. What is it you're not telling me? He's he's intrigued. Yeah. Oh. Moonlight Graham. Son! So what? Go the distance. He heard it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Yes. What? It means we're going to Minnesota the Oh, cool. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, you kidnapped him. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> he, he came to. voluntarily. Look, I'm really oh, sorry, but I'm going to be a few days longer. Uh, oh no. Why didn't you tell him? 
What, they're Penny got no choice in the matter. Or they're, she's just forced to sell. His nickname was Moonlight. Well, that's Dr. Graham. Dr. Graham? Huh? His baseball career never amounted to oh. much, so he went back to school. Ah. Dr. Graham is dead. Oh. He died in 1972. Oh. Yeah, if he was playing in 22, then... Yeah, right. No opium, no midnight abortions, <laughs> no illegitimate Jesus. children. I'm not trying to find any dirt oh. on him, either. <laughs> His father, who lives in Baltimore, notified police after receiving... Oh, no. no oh! He forgot calls. to tell anybody he was yeah. going. I better call him. <laughs> to the paper. What do I tell him? Yeah. <laughs> We're on a quest from the Almighty. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh! Oh, kind of step into the past here. Yeah, because that in came the out 70s. in the seventies. Yeah. yeah, that came out in the seventies. That was like a young Al Pacino in the yeah. movie, so it's like. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Doctor Graham. Burt Lancaster. Uh, I'm Ray I'm from Iowa. I know the name, but like, what was what was no he in? Call me Burt Lancaster. Yeah, I know he's like oh, famous, yeah. but. Uh, from Here to Eternity is a famous one with, I think, laying on the beach with the water. Oh. He's kissing the oh, okay. car. Yeah. Did you get to make a play? I never hit the ball out of the infield. Oh. Game ended, the season was over. Oh. Damn. Oh. I think it's taking he can come security. play baseball. Yeah. Anything you wanted. Or watch. I guess he's yeah. kind of old to play, maybe. He's old. Yeah. Maybe he could, like, throw a pitch or something. Yeah. Oh, 50 years ago, for five yeah. minutes, you came, what, you, you, you came this uh, close. I mean, it would kill some men to get that close to their dream and not touch it. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. Yeah. True, yeah. He was meant for greater things. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> His, mustache. <laughs> His mustache is cool, eh? <clears throat> think oh. it did did for these people yeah he true hey? he yeah and not been there yeah I don't know that's a good perspective on yeah. what your wife called before oh mm. they own the paper now and he says if we don't sell to them they're gonna foreclose right mm. we don't have the money yeah how can they make some money well, charge like you know, tickets for baseball games oh. and. Oh. I'm going to Iowa with you. He want to go see the field. Yeah. Because right? if he heard the voice, he can he'll be able to see the players. Yes. Thanks. You're the first car by. Hey, How far it's this guy. How far are you going? Iowa. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. <gasps> of course you do. You don't say. What's his name gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> <Lisa. laughs> Seems like so happy. Yeah. Looking for a place to play. I'm Archie Graham. <gasps> Is this his oh. like grandson or something? No, it's him. As it right? As a young man before. Wait a minute. <sighs> yeah, Archie Graham. <laughs> Boy refusing to have a catch with his father. Flight fourteen. That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. Uh, hey, that's the kind of crap people always have to lay on me. <laughs> 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 yeah. Calm down. Yeah. Something awful on the left. After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Made it back to the funeral. Aww. Aww. That's a hell of an unresolved issue. Yeah. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Oh. Oh. Who was his hero? Wow. Shoeless Joe. Shoeless Joe Jackson. Wow, that cut deep. <laughs> <clears throat> That's something you regret your whole life. Yeah. Oh. Never saw his granddaughter. This is your penance. I know. Oh. More people? Oh, look at how many! Whoa! We can have an actual game now. 
What did like the whole Brooklyn Dodgers <laughs> stop by? <laughs> you can oh, see them. Yeah. Oh my god. It's <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jackson. I told of you. It is. You didn't believe me. I thought I did, but seeing and believing. Yeah. Are you Graham? Yes, sir. Well, what are you doing on the sidelines here? You came to play ball, didn't you? Cause yeah. Uh. Cause he played for like you know. 20, 30 years before Shoeless Joe did. Yeah. Ah, he always wanted to do that. Oh, no, and then it make him mad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, no more winking now. You know what would really set him off? Oh, no. Do a bunt. Said? See the fastball. <gasps> ah! Oh. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, got it. Uh, remember you wanted to slide and uh, safe. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, they're <laughs> <laughs> and The concept is just so yeah. unique. Like giving you know these deceased players their sort of shot at redemption. Yeah, that's right. Uh oh, is this the the brother? It's her brother, right? Yeah. I think so. But he doesn't see them though. You're interrupting the game, Mark. Ray. Ugh. Wasn't this guy one of the goons in uh, uh, sneakers? Oh yeah, you're right. The yeah. ones that kidnapped yeah. Robert Redford. Yeah, Urban. you're right. I'm offering you a way to keep your home because I love my sister oh, and all my see. partners, yeah. Ray. They don't give a damn about you and they're ready to foreclose right now. Daddy, mm. we don't have to sell the phone. It's your driveway. Not knowing for sure why they're doing it. Mm. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children, <laughs> longing for the past. Wait, his money they have. Right under the her piece idea. They like. Yeah. Ray. With the authoritative voice of James Earl Jones behind it. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. You sell now or you lose everything. Man, he's the angel and the devil. Yeah. Over the years, Ray, has been baseball. <laughs> America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. Baseball has marked the time. <laughs> this field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. I've never really been huge into sports, but I really just love when people get this passionate about oh, the yes. sports that they're involved yeah. in. Just like yeah. when they get all like poetic and beautiful, because like yeah. that almost brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, just, you know. yeah. And you turn your daughter into a damn oh, spit your hands off. Don't right touch. Now, damn it. <gasps> oh my god. What the fuck? If you think that the ginger problem is not a serious one, think again. Oh no. Punch that asshole right in the face. Let her do it. It's her brother. She should punish him. Oh, he's a doctor. Oh, but it's not but a doctor. But yourself, though. Yeah. Anyway. What? what? He'll morph into his older self or something? Oh, if he crosses the line, right? Ah. Oh! There we go. Oh, Boy. he's got his medical bag. With like 50 years of experience, so he had a. There he is. What do we got here? <laughs> Does he finally see him? I yeah, hope I so. I guess so, eh? I hope so. So now he's gonna. This child's choking to death. Yeah, she's... Oh. Oh, she was eating a oh, hot dog. right. Huh? Ouch. Damn. Hot dog. Stuck in her throat. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice and simple. He had his moment. Yeah. I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Because other than that, uh, he had a really good life. You know, married yes. to a good woman, and he said, helped out his community. Being a doctor, right? And good work, Doc. How's it going, Doc? 
to miss you, Doc. Wouldn't went for me one day, would you, boys? Okay, Doc. Sure will. Yeah. When did these ball players get here? <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It's just like when Fudge in Harry Potter. Yeah. Remember that he's like, he's back. Yeah. After a whole movie of like, he's yeah. back. Have to be with his wife. Do not yeah. sell this farm, Ray. You gotta keep this. <sighs> Finally. No, not you. Uh, Him. Terrence. Oh, that's why he's here, maybe. Him? Come with you? <laughs> out there. What is out there? Come and find out. What a story it'll make. Make sure to just say goodbye to your dad first. <laughs> Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. Yeah, he's gonna write like one last like article or story. Which will bring people then, right? That, Maybe. Because like he said, but you know, as soon as I write something, people will be yes. on it. Like, yeah. you, know. you be careful. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. That's pretty good for the eighties. Yeah. And it's pretty simple too. Like the going into the cornfield helps. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't look too, you know. If you build it. He will come. I mean, ultimately, it's about his dad. His dad. I- I'm expecting. Hey. Oh, he was there the whole time. He was the catcher. Oh, it's him. Whoa. Because oh. he he said, well, like not like apologizing to him and that, it's but like his, his dad never met like his his uh, daughter-in-law, his, daughter- his granddaughter. Yeah. And, I only saw him years later when he was worn down by life. Oh, yeah. Because he left home when he was like 17, he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you introduce him to his granddaughter? Yeah. This is John. Hi, John. <laughs> Hiya, Karen. Well, we're going to let you two talk. Very nice meeting you. Aww. Come on. They gotta get one of those things where, like, you like enter the amount of money, and then yeah, you go, <laughs> just shoots out a receipt. Hey, also, like, Dad. Oh. You wanna have a catch? Aww. I'd like that. Yeah. Hard life though being a farmer, so. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it because you're just at the mercy of the weather and Mother Nature. Oh, look at the oh! cars coming! The cars! They will come. Like Terrence was saying, you know, they won't know why, but they'll. Yeah, they'll, they'll find, come. They'll yeah. Sell. Holy shit, look at look that! Look at that! Whoa! They'll just hand over the money and yeah. sit in the spots that they sat as kids. And That's right. Oh, it's really good. Hey. Oh. Yeah. I see some of the names here. This is section. John Ray Liotta, Julius Jones, James Earl Jones. The voice himself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of. Uh, okay. Of uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, uh, in the credits at one, but they had, like Godzilla, Mothra, Ghidorah, and all those. But they had, oh, you know, yeah. as himself, oh, as herself, yeah. as himself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, eleven yeah. credits kind of do that. That was really, oh, that really, was really good. good, right? Such a heartwarming story. Oh yeah, and I mean, it's you know, it's obvious it's the far fetched and everything else. Oh, but it just it just seems to flow really well. You don't go, oh, okay, yeah. come on, that's not. Yeah, yeah and it's it's sort of like because it, it sort of slowly brings you into the magic. Like yeah. you know, he hears a voice. Yeah. You know, he sort of goes into it, and then he meets this writer, and then this writer can hear the voice too, and you meet this person yeah. in their younger years and stuff like that, and. By the end, you have like a whole t- whole team of people, mm-hmm. and you have the one guy going from his younger self to his older self, and yeah, walk off into the light and, and stuff. I was glad they didn't go on or or make it so that he was the only one that heard anything, at least for the first half. Or exactly, whatever. I was his afraid. Wife, well, I mean, he was the only one that heard it, but his yes. wife could see it, and the daughter could see yeah, it. Yeah, uh, that's one. Like like I said, the the, the 
sort of trope of like the you know the main character hears or sees something they tell it to their family their family doesn't like the close encounters was a good example yeah. like the family yes. just doesn't understand didn't it causes understand strife because, the family leaves yeah, into, yeah. like all this drama like i was i was afraid it would be one of those at yes. least for a bit but luckily she was with him all the way and i really i really liked her she was just supportive all the yes. way and, and you know yeah. and, but then uh, yeah james Earl jones was really good and and like i yeah i just love how the theme of the whole like the magic in the story was just like second chances and like redemption because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like for james earl jones like he was sort of like cynical and kind of given up after like yeah. decades of like you said they killed martin Beaten they killed down. bobby yeah. and, and all the sort of yeah. politics and like all of his sort of struggles didn't really amount to much so he sort of shifted and was very was a shut-in essentially and but then he got to relive kind of his yeah, sort of youth a bit and his there. love for the game and he yeah. got to move on and and then uh, the the players all got their second sh- chance because they they're sort of sort of robbed of it you know, yeah. within their lifetime. And it was neat that his dad was catching that game. The it was time. really cool because right? like, like the whole thing in around. I thought maybe he's going to see him walk out of the corn or something. I thought he it was going to be a special. Smiling. Yeah, his and dad. Like no, he was right there. His the dad time. would appear kind of like a force yeah. ghost right at the end, but that was that was kind of yeah he was here the whole time because yeah. like in, you know in a roundabout way it was all about him and his dad because they That's both right. love baseball yeah. they played yeah. baseball and and but then it was like on the way to you know sort of kind of like fulfilling or like getting rid of his regrets he helped out all these other people live yes. their dreams and get, have their moments and yeah and i just i love the moment where the doc was like him when he was you know serve as his younger self you know winked and he got to do everything yeah. he said you know he got to yeah. hit the ball got to serve you know slide to the to the, yeah. the mat and everything and then when he was a doctor Seriously? you know yeah. the thing that because like i think it was james Earl jones said like you know if he actually had hit that ball or if he had gone the way yeah. He wouldn't have become a doctor, stayed. and he wouldn't have he helped all those people. Have, and, exactly, right? Because yeah. it's like you know, life just kind of worked out that way. Yeah. But it's just I yeah. love that moment when they're all sort of like just like you know, nodding their hats. Yeah. And like, See you later, doc. Yeah. It was a very very special moment, yes. you know, yes. like, for, yeah, for him and, and Ray Liotta and everything. And just, let us know what you guys thought of this. And one. then such a so, such a sweet like so sort of family yes. story at the heart of it, which yeah. And and you know, we're mom and I are suckers for a real you know sort of happy endings oh, and, and yeah, everything. But and like. Some people might call it cheesy, the whole thing, but it's like it, this was actually just came together quite well, just because like, like the whole thing was built around. He just wished he could change things with his father, yeah. and that, like I said, that just was like the the theme of the whole thing, which I really really loved yeah. and just yeah. Yeah, sweet, really nice seeing him like catch with them at the end and yeah. introduce him to his granddaughter. But yeah, yeah. this is a very very sweet, Good. very you know wholesome kind of story. I really loved it. Uh, was not expecting the magic at all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if you want to watch the full length of our, our reaction, I'll put a link down below. And as well, uh, you can uh, check out up to uh, two weeks early access for movies and shows that haven't made it to YouTube yet. So uh, on our Patreon, on our Patreon, yeah. yeah. So you can yeah. go go on uh, go on there, check it out. Maybe you'll find something you like, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed. It lets us know that you're enjoying what we're putting out mm-hmm. and what we're, we're we're doing, and we're glad you could yeah. join us for thanks this journey for of ours. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. for for sharing this with us, and uh, yeah, that's all we have for you now. So until next time, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.